Hello and welcome to Buena Vista, a stroll in the park. My name is Mary Claire Olson Potter, President of the Hudson Area Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau. And we are so pleased to present this third annual holiday event display here in Lakefront Park. We are so thankful for the partners that have joined us in this effort, Save a Tree, the City of Hudson, and over 20 other sponsors of individuals, families, and businesses. I've, had a, I've asked a couple of them to join me tonight. I want to welcome Debbie Erickson and just have you talk about what got you interested in supporting this program. Well, I love this little town of Hudson. It's magical. And this light show is just the frosting on the cake. I was lucky enough to be born and raised in Hudson, lucky enough to raise my family in this area. And I just think that it's just so magical at Christmas time for everyone to come down. You can be young, old, kids, grandkids, grandma and grandpa, anybody can enjoy this. It's free to the public and it's just great just a great little asset for our little town. Thank you. And we have Brian Elwood with XL Energy, another partner with us. What got you interested in this program? Well, when you first told us about it, we couldn't think of a better way to showcase our downtown and the wonderful assets that we have here with our wonderful businesses, our storefronts, and of course the St. Croix River. And illuminating it during wintertime is a great, great way to get people to come visit Hudson. And we're really excited about being partners with this program. Thank you so much. And today also we have Brock with us. He is with Save a Tree, who is a huge partner with us in this program. In fact, Brock designed the entire design. We, we had a plan in September and then there was a major storm that came through Hudson. Fortunately, no one was injured, but a lot of damage throughout the community. We lost seven big trees here down in Lakefront Park. So, Brock, you, you had a plan and then we came up with a new plan. <laughs> exactly. So. Um, I'm Brock Eastland, as Mary Claire had said, and I am the designer um, with Save a Tree that put this beautiful display of lights um, in Lakefront Park this year. And this summer, you know, we had a grand plan, and that plan was, was dashed originally by a very large storm that came through. And what we ended up doing was we all met in the park, Mary Claire, a few of my colleagues, um, one of the sponsors, and we came up with a new plan uh, that was going to showcase some of the other trees that we weren't normally um, going to light, but we really wanted to showcase more of the park um, to the south this year, add in some new components like snowflakes, um, as you'll see in the display, something that nobody really in the metro and western Wisconsin area um, was using. So um, we added that in, did some really neat um, wall washing lights in the band shell, and we were able to incorporate some, incorporate some new colors into this year's display as well. Um, the blue-green trees that you see around us, those are a definite hit, and I can absolutely say that Keeping the display creative year to year is what we always strive to do. And with the generous donations and support of the city, Mary Claire and the chamber, um, we couldn't do it with all, all their help. So I'm very grateful to be a part of this and looking forward to many years of growth and expansion of this event. So Brock, this year we have over 250,000 lights in the park that is just illuminating the area. So how do you get all of these lights up? So I think you bring, is it like seven to 10 bucket trucks that come in and? Yeah, so how we install the lights is very unique. So we don't climb up in the trees. We do use a number of bucket trucks and articulating lifts with a crew of seven to eight typically um, it'll take us about a week to install these lights um, which is you know a huge undertaking but the end product is always worth it seeing the joy on people's faces when they're able to see um, you know, this display Buena Vista behind us um, you know I, I think it's a legend in the making here really <laughs> so um, yeah so I'm looking forward to 2022 <laughs> well, and we are so excited that these lights will stay up until February 15th, 
And like Debbie mentioned, there is no fee to come down to the park to enjoy them. You can drive through, like right along First Street here, or you can get out of your vehicle and just walk the park. There's so many photo opportunities. We have Santa's mailbox for you to put your letters into Santa. We have a picture frame for photo ops or all of the different arches. So we are just so thankful for the strong support of this community that supports this program. The first year when we came together and somebody said, you gotta have lights in the park. And I just thought, well, how do we do that? And then we partnered with Save a Tree because this is their expertise. And we worked with individuals and families and businesses and said, we'd love to launch this program. And so like Brock said, we already, we, we get the lights on and we turn them on on light up night. And there were about 500 to 700 people in the park when we turned them on after on light up night. And so I just encourage you, if you weren't down here, for that to mark that on your calendar for next year, because you are not going to want to miss that. When just all the lights and you have a team of like five people that turn on the switches and Santa does the <laughs> countdown, and it is pretty magical. So uh, we are excited to continue this program through the rest of the year, and we got snow now right Yay. so we have some beautiful snow that makes it even more magical and uh, we have ice sculpture down here now so check us out they are on in the early mornings and then they are on every night from five o'clock until midnight right we have timers so it brightens up the dark mornings and then it brightens up the cold bitter nights right brock yeah, absolutely <laughs> and so we are already talking about different plans and how we'd love to expand and grow this program um, as we plan in for 2022 so brian debbie any other final comments merry christmas <laughs> <laughs> well there you go we were going to break out in song there but you maybe go we'll... we start the fa la 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 <laughs> there right, right. There and go. you'll see the fun lights that we are wearing too so we are all about lights and lighting up the park and lighting up hudson like you know like both brian and debbie said too and brock it's really about bringing the community together and enjoying this beautiful park we love it in the summer and now we love it in the winter Yes, so, we absolutely. do. Yes. Thank come you. down and visit. Yes. Yeah. Come and see us. And thank you so much uh, for everyone's support of this program. We look forward to seeing you in the park. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful, happy holiday season. Be safe.